Wedding cards and stationery set the tone for one of the most important days in your life. They express your individuality and style while carrying your warmest invitations to friends and loved ones. The journey begins with design. When you walk into Shaikh's Creative Designs, you'll share your vision with CEO and designer Shiko Anderi and agree on the look, feel and message you'd like your unique cards to have. Next, various suppliers are sought to fill the order, such as Rainbow Fashions Limited, where Justice Ocheng will source only the best netting and fabrics, as well as many other design materials. You can't, however, make a wedding card without paper, and for that, Burhani Paper and Stationers is your one-stop shop. The materials then must be customized to fit your needs, and so the next stage is processing. Operators such as Charles Kenyonjui of Kenvia Printers use a large guillotine which holds and cuts through stacks of paper with a force of up to three tons. The design may also require a specialized cut. This is achieved using a die, which is a wood block with a razor sharp metal form in the shape required. Over at NAP Enterprises, Tony uses a motorized press to cut out the required shapes using the die. He carefully secures the die to the holding frame, then places it in the press. Tony uses sticky markers so that he will know where to place the paper he wants to cut. The excess paper is removed by hand, giving the required shape. Wangi, back at Kenvia Printers, runs cards through the printing press at the rate of over 30 cards per minute. Before the ink dries, Mwangi quickly hands the cards over to Kanyi, who prepares the cards for embossing. Embossing is the art of producing raised patterns on the surface of metal, leather, textiles, paper and other similar substances. In this case, Kanyi is adding the texture to the text that has just been printed and he does so by covering the printed paper in a special powder which is absorbed by the wet ink on the cards. This special powder undergoes a chemical reaction when heated, bonding it to the ink with a textured glossy finish. Across town at Sharp Cards, George Nganga embosses paper with various designs using a press and designed blocks to achieve the look you ordered. He places the blocks in a press and using force rather than chemical reaction creates a textured surface on the paper. In order to wow your family and friends, you may want to add a little extra shine to the text and design on your wedding stationery. Foiling achieves this by adding a thin layer of colored reflective metals to your wedding stationery. The thin metal layer is added using a heated press and a block or type setting. Once processing is done, it's back to Shaikh's Creative Designs for final assembly. Printed card and paper, ribbons, burlap, trinkets, wheat and all sorts of materials are glued, twisted and wrapped together. Shikes Creative Designs, made in Kenya.